graduates, you're no longer students, but you're now alumni and still very much a part of the Cecil College family. So if there's anything the Student Services Division can do to assist with transfer or landing that perfect job, please let us know. We are still very much invested in your success. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our ECA graduates from Oxford Area High School and our homeschool cohort. We're extremely proud of you and can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hey there, class of 2021. You made it. It certainly wasn't the easiest way to finish but you persevered. Your dedication has helped you overcome all of the obstacles the world has thrown at you. You never gave up. Your accomplishments are an inspiration to us all. Your perseverance and dedication have truly inspired us and have shown us what a bright future you have. On behalf of the business faculty, I want you to know how very proud we are of you and not just proud, but Cecil proud. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, Cecil College graduates of 2021. It has been quite a year and your achievement means more than ever. Best of luck to you and please keep in touch. Congratulations, graduates. This is Tiffany Dow, Director of Career Services, and I just wanted to say that I'm so proud and excited for you. And also to let you know that Career Services is here to support you in every aspect of your career needs, whether that's assistance with job searching or with your resume. Come check us out. We're here to support you. Once again, congratulations, best wishes, and stay well. Congratulations, class of 2021. You should be so proud of your accomplishments and I wish you all the best as you move forward. Congratulations, graduates. Your dedication to your studies and your perseverance has paid off. You are now Cecil College graduates. Go Cecil. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cecil College graduates, on all of your accomplishments and best of luck as you move forward in your new endeavors. Hi graduates, congratulations on your well-deserved success. We are all rooting for you. Hi Cecil College graduates, I'm Dr. Jennifer Greenfield, Department Chair and Professor of Teacher Education. 
I would like to wish all of my teacher education students the best of luck as they transfer and to stay strong. honored to welcome you to Cecil College's 52nd Commencement Ceremony. Although this has been a trying time, we have much to applaud. It would take more than a pandemic to reduce Cecil College faculty and staff's commitment to student success. And the fact that you are here today and I am able to join the college community in celebration of your accomplishments is further proof that you did not falter in your commitment to your educational goals in the face of COVID. Your dedication to your future is stronger than a pandemic, and no lesson you received at Cecil College will serve you better than the realization that you did not waver from your goals even under the shadow of a worldwide pandemic. Your resilience in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic has earned this class an esteemed distinction, and I want to acknowledge the numerous sacrifices you have made for the well-being of the greater good. Transitioning to remote learning, assessing Wi-Fi in parking lots in order to fully participate in classes, completing assignments at odd hours when other family and household members were taken care of or not in need of common space, participating in our virtual graduation ceremony with grace and dignity. For this and all the barriers you overcame to be here today, Cecil College and your community thanks you. As we join together, each in our own way to recognize you today, we can think of no greater honor than what you have actually bestowed upon all of us. Our Seahawk pride in your graduating class is without bounds. We congratulate you not only for your academic accomplishments, but for the outstanding character that each of you has displayed during this very challenging and difficult time. In addition to the high accomplishment of graduating from college, You've also demonstrated to all of us that you are ready to face and surmount any challenge that life has to offer with quiet resolution and an admirable concern for the greater good. You have proven without doubt that you possess not only the skills, but the strength, maturity, and compassion to truly succeed in life. You know more than many that life is not always predictable. Self-improvement is constant and that our ability to rise to opportunities are immeasurably enhanced by education. As Cecil College graduates, you become the backbone of our great county, state, and nation through your productivity, ingenuity, and vitality. As you move forward in your lives, please always remember that our gratitude and pride in this class goes with you. We will always remember that above all other graduating classes, you truly put your community first. Not only are you ready to own your future, you are the class that stepped up and owned the present. We are grateful, 
and we thank you. I am proud to announce that today, your community college is awarding 53 associate degrees, two certificates to 52 students for December 2020 graduates, 226 associate degrees and 17 certificates to 222 students for May 2021 graduates, and 12 associate degrees for August 2021 graduates. Cecil College serves over 6,000 credit and continuing education students annually. I extend a sincere thank you to our supporters in the county, state, region, and community, and to our students, faculty, and staff for being a part of student success at Cecil College. The class of 2021 provides me with the opportunity to celebrate another amazing year and getting to know the outstanding students who chose Cecil College. We praise your determination and acknowledge family members and friends who have provided encouragement and support along the way. I wanna thank the parents, spouses, partners, and family members who have sacrificed to make this day possible. Most importantly, I want to express my sincere appreciation to Cecil College's faculty and staff. Cecil is fortunate to have excellent faculty and staff members who impact students' lives each day and work hard to prepare them for a successful career or to transition to another college. Thank you. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize special guests. The members of the Board of Trustees give countless hours of volunteer service to the college on your behalf. Mr. Mark G. Mortensen, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Sidney Teal, Vice Chair. Mrs. Sarah W. Kalinda. Mrs. Donna Horgan. Mr. Raymond Hamm. Mr. Michael Sabinico. And Ms. Kathleen Kunda are representing the Board of Trustees today. Ladies and gentlemen, an honored guest, at this time I present the Chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Mark G. Mortensen. Welcome everyone to our virtual graduation ceremony. I'm sorry that I'm not able to shake your hand and congratulate you in person. My name is Mark Mortensen and I'm the proud Chair of Cecil College's Board of Trustees. Dr. Bolt, esteemed faculty, family and friends of the graduates, and most importantly, Ladies and gentlemen of the Cecil College graduating class of 2021, for the privilege of speaking to you today on behalf of my fellow members of the Board of Trustees, I'm both honored and grateful. Thank you. Graduates, you and your diploma or certificate will never be separated from you. It's yours forever. This commencement exercise includes important ceremonial activities and highly appropriate symbolism because you've earned the rite of passage into a realm where not everyone goes. There's something about you, about all of you, in your upbringing and your background that got you here. Something has driven you to complete your courses and overcome all of your personal challenges. My fellow trustees and I, as well as the faculty and staff of the college, applaud you. You have experienced the exhilaration of learning. Never stop learning because I hope that you will find that wisdom, not money, is more important for your ultimate happiness. Climb the mountain, not to plant your flag, but to embrace the challenge of the climb. Climb it so you can see the world, not so that the world can see you. I must mention the pandemic. We're all so tired of it. Sometime life hits you in the head with a brick. The pandemic is that brick. COVID has affected all of our lives. You probably harbor some bitterness about not experiencing everything you wanted to and expected to. But just as discomfort breeds strength and growth, a little well-placed bitterness breeds fortitude in its own way. In view of all that brought you to this accomplishment, I ask that you please take a specific moment at some time and expressly say thank you to all those people that have helped get you here. It will mean so much to them, whether it's faculty, a friend, a fellow student, or most importantly, your family members. You've succeeded because of the aid and the love of others that have been and still are in your lives. Please remember when you are challenged with tough choices in your life, and you will be, that the most important thing in your life is to live your life with integrity and not to give in to peer pressure to try to be something that you're not. Please live your lives as an honest and compassionate person. Try to find the positives in everyone. Don't let others convince you that any class or fellow human being deserves less than your full respect. Please contribute to society in a meaningful way. 
Don't let others persuade you when their motivations are not noble. Live your lives with a sense of urgency every day. Try to love everything and everyone that you love with all your might. While the future is always uncertain, enjoy the challenges. We today celebrate what you have done. We celebrate all of your achievements, and we are certain of one thing on this day. You will not let us down. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Mortensen. <laughs> Hannah Larson is today's welcome speaker. Good afternoon and welcome to the celebration ceremony for Cecil College graduating class of 2021. Thank you all for being here. While this might not have been the graduation you were expecting, you should all be proud of your accomplishments. It's been a crazy year and it's really so inspiring to see all of you have pushed forward and are here today. I would like to thank the faculty of Cecil College for molding us and steering us in the right direction. Thank you to our parents, our grandparents, our spouses, siblings, family members, and our support systems overall. This past year in particular has been a really unique and especially challenging time, and your support is so appreciated. I will say that when they asked me to give the welcome speech for Cecil's 2021 graduating class, my first thought was yes no problem. And my second thought was, oh wait, hold on a second. I didn't know what I got myself into. What possible encouraging thoughts, motivating stories, or wisdom could I possibly hold? When I learned that my speech would be recorded, I was immediately relieved. Because if I were to make any ridiculous mistake or have one too many word fumbles, maybe see something shiny in the corner or a squirrel. I might become distracted from my speech. Well, then at least I would be able to have a second chance at recording. The second chance. Now those two words had me contemplating the past two years. For myself, those words speak to this being my second time graduating college, my second career choice, my second time at having a bunch of firsts. Before deciding to go back to school, I'd had multiple heated debates with myself. And I argued that starting over, starting from scratch, would be a complete waste of all my previous efforts at life and happiness. Eventually though, I did make that leap of faith and I pursued my dream. And guess what? It was worth it, even if it felt like I was admitting that I failed the first time. To my graduating class, my point is this. At times it feels as though there's so much pressure to make the right decision. Choosing correctly the first time, we feel as though we cannot make mistakes and as if starting over or taking a step backwards is unfathomable. We create a timeline for ourselves and if anything causes us to stumble or to take a step back, in the wrong direction, panic sets in, and we feel as though we are behind or we're failing at life. Perhaps you're not restarting, or maybe your first attempt just wasn't perfect. Your exam didn't go well, or maybe that first job interview wasn't awesome. Whatever it may be, it didn't go like you wanted, and now you feel defeated. We all know that in life, mistakes are made and it feels acceptable when it happens to somebody else. We understand, but when it happens to you, it's devastating, and it feels as though the world is ending. Now, every day has a second chance, and it's called tomorrow. Or maybe it is simply just that second chance you were given. As you go out to make your place in the world after your time here at Cecil, I hope you remember next time you're feeling defeated, that you failed, that second chances are there because maybe you weren't ready the first time. Congratulations, class of 2021, and thank you. Thank you, Hannah. We are pleased to have two students reflect on the experiences that they had while attending Cecil College. 
These students were nominated by their faculty to be today's speakers. Please welcome our first student speaker, Danielle N. Ewing. Hello, everyone. I'm Danielle. I'm graduating from Cecil's nursing program, and I'm the president of the Nursing Honor Society. Reflecting on my experiences over the past few years, I was flooded with memories of countless mnemonics, late night study sessions, and friends that turned into family. There are so many moments that I could talk about, like in first semester when we all had to test out on hand washing and we all thought we forgot how to wash our hands, or that time I was so upset over an exam I accidentally walked into the men's bathroom, or the time at AIG Font when my friend braided my patient's hair and I sang her to sleep. And while some moments are funny and others profound, my experience in the Cecil nursing program is so much more than single moments. This experience has changed me. I am not the same person that sat down at orientation in 2019. I am a better person because of the Cecil College nursing program. You know, when originally asked to speak about my experiences, my first thought was, do they even know how old I am? I don't even remember what high school smells like anymore. Because you see, my college journey is not typical, but as the great C.S. Lewis once said, there are no ordinary people. You have never talked to a mere mortal. And if I could look around the room right now, I know I would not find one mere mortal. And I think that's what's so special about our community's college, because here we are a community. And no matter what your journey is, Cecil College is here to support you. If you have the will, Cecil will make the way. Thank you to everyone who has supported us on this journey. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Danielle. Please welcome our second student speaker, Jada K. Brinkley. Warm welcomes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning into this year's Cecil College graduation for the class of 2021. I am Jada Brinkley, and it is by the grace of my God that I finally stand here today as an alumna of the illustrious Cecil College. It is with great honor that I extend the sincerest congratulations to my fellow graduates. What a journey it has been through the highs and the lows, coupled with moments of joys and occasional exam anxieties, we finally gather here today at the finish line the finish line to accept our well-deserved diplomas and to celebrate our grand accomplishments. Of importance, this is no race with only a single winner. Rather, we are all the victors who did our individual parts and duties to receive our respected trophies. Reflecting back on the total of my Cecil career, I owe great gratitude to this college. Not only have they fostered care into my academic sphere of life, but they've also issued commitment to me as an individual in an intimate way. In one aspect, I was able to grow as a leader through my service and representation on the Student Leadership Council. Then, in another way, I've blossomed in my faith and following of Christ through the Cecil Christian Club Amazing Grace. Even further, I've assumed the role of a bold advocate when championing to our Maryland state legislators for increased community college funding during Student Advocacy Day. All in all, this represents how Cecil expands way more past than a means to an end for a diploma. This recounting only marks my own story, but endless opportunities exist for other students as well to be evolved and to be fulfilled through this institution. Therefore, I want to encourage my dear graduates to remember this truth and to strive to always be actively a part of community, for we clearly know that life is not lived alone and cannot be lived alone. We find purpose in building in relationships with others for the sake of our own fulfillment, along with the benefit of helping, growing, and inspiring others too. This testament rings true in our diverse yet inclusive community at Cecil. Extending from the tops of the college leadership to the students in the classes I learned with, I always felt welcomed and accepted. There were so many people different from me, yet we all could share a common factor of this college. That remains a touching nuance to me as to demonstrate the greatness in unity despite people's differences, not just at Cecil, but in this world. And now, although my time as a Cecil student concludes, this absolutely does not negate the valuable relationships, encouragements, and experiences I've gained. The richness and significance of these live on in me to impact even the next chapters of my life. 
I also want to remind my dear graduates that we too continually possess that power, for we always have the ability to impact others as to leave an everlasting impression. This applies to our present communities as well as for the individuals who will grace our lives in the future. I express this with great enthusiasm because I know of the joy it can bring, not only by enriching the lives of others, but also as to perceive our own experiences for the blessings of our own hearts. So, at last, I conclude with a single prompt. What is the impression you wish to leave? Unto yourself and unto others. For life is ultimately the intermix of actions and reactions of what happens and what you make happen. Thank you, everyone, and sincerely, God bless. Thank you. Great job. You represent the entire graduating class well. We have a graduating class full of inspiring stories like these, student success, academic excellence, and completion. <laughs> Cecil College is proud to recognize student excellence and academic achievement. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Ann Edlin to present the Outstanding Student Awards and Departmental Awards. Good afternoon. The Donald M. Tomey Outstanding Student Award recognizes the student who is graduating with an associate degree, has the highest grade point average as of May, and has taken all of their coursework at Cecil College. The prestigious award is in honor of Donald M. Tomey, a longtime friend and supporter of Cecil College and its foundation. Today, I am pleased to present the college's most prestigious academic award to the following outstanding students who have met the established criteria. Phoebe Hope Colkins and Prisca Grace Colkins. On behalf of the faculty, administration, and staff of Cecil College, we are pleased to honor each of you as the outstanding student for the class of 2021. Congratulations. We wish you much success in your future endeavors. Each year, the faculty members select students from their departments for special recognition during the annual commencement ceremony. This is the 21st year that departmental awards have been given to students who demonstrate excellence in the various academic disciplines. 17 students are receiving departmental awards this year. Faculty members nominate and select these award recipients based on criteria established by each department's faculty. It is my pleasure today to recognize the departmental award winners to this audience. Additionally, please take note of the faculty comments in the graduation program that highlight each award winner's special contributions and accomplishments. From the Department of Business, Jada Kiana Brinkley Business, Anna Jameson Norman Accounting. From the Department of Education, Mackenzie Catherine Mullins, Education. From the Department of Engineering and Mathematics, Brent Aaron Sohn II, Mathematics. From the Department of English, Tyler Russell Rowland, Literary Analysis. Trey Isaiah Miller, Professional Writing. From the Department of Health and Human Services, Christopher James Larkso, Physical Therapist Assistant. Kirsten Page Panel, Nursing. Austin William Miller, Exercise Science. From the Department of Science and Technology, Patsy Williams, Computer Science Cybersecurity. Brent Aronson II, Physics. Kimberly K. Nodden, Biology. From the Department of Social Sciences, Doran Louise Thompson, Social Work. Mariana Espinosa Barrientos, Criminal Justice. Madison Dannon Dzinski, Psychology. From the Department of Visual Communications, Arts and Performing Arts. Samantha Marie Braun, Art and Design. Hannah Elizabeth Rash, Performing Arts Music. Mackenzie Evans, Visual Communications. Please join me in congratulating the 2021 Departmental Award winners. At this time, I am pleased to recognize distinguished service among our own Cecil College faculty. 
It is our tradition to honor notable faculty service to the college during our commencement ceremonies. Emeritus is a Latin word meaning veteran soldier, and it is a title that may be given to a professor upon retirement. They must have attained the rank of assistant professor, associate professor, or professor, and provided consistent fulfillment of the college's mission and goals. Their superior performance will have included excellence in teaching, professional growth, and college service. Today, we recognize Dr. Nancy Vinton, professor of biology who taught from 2003 to 2020. I invite you to join me in congratulating Dr. Vinton in appreciation of the extraordinary dedication to higher education and student success.
Thank you so much. What a wonderful performance. Good afternoon, candidates, faculty, friends, guests, and colleagues. And now is the time in our ceremony to celebrate the achievements of our graduates. Mr. Mortensen and Dr. Bolt, with the recommendation of the faculty and with the approval of the Board of Trustees, I am honored to introduce the graduation candidates for the class of 2021.
Would the candidates for graduation please stand? And now, by the power vested in me by the Maryland Higher Education Commission, and on the recommendation of faculty with the approval of the Board of Trustees of Cecil College, I now confer upon you the associate degree or certificate with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left side. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present the graduating class of 2021. <laughs>